Hi, I'm Beth Graham. Welcome to my Yoga Foundations video series. So what we're going to focus on today is Downward Facing Dog. I like to say in my classes, if there's only one pose you have time to do, make it Downward Facing Dog. It's an inversion because your head is lower than your heart. You're working your legs, you're lengthening the hamstrings and the low back, the lumbar spine. There's a little bit of a heart opener um, and it's some arm work. But what I'd like you really to focus is on is that it is a spinal lengthening posture. Um, so let's get to work. So a good alignment set up for downward facing dog is starting in child's pose. So curl your toes under and reach your arms forward. And as far as hand space, it's almost as wide as the outer edges of your yoga mat. And then from here, curl your toes under and lift your hips into downward facing dog. Look at your feet and if you can see your inner heels, roll them out. And if you saw my Tadasana Mountain Pose post, it's the inner thigh spiraling back. It's that same action. And then start to draw the navel into the spine and lift your sits bones up as you press the heels down to the floor. All right, so let's just take a break. So as I said, it's a spinal lengthening posture. And a lot of times if our hamstrings are feeling short or a little tight, you don't get to access the ability to bring the space between the vertebrae. So what you can do to modify is bend your knees. So again, ground your palms onto the mat and then with your bent knees in a down dog hover, lift your sits bones up and draw your navel in. So it's not really essential that you have your legs straight. What is key is the spinal lengthening. Another thing that I notice is there's, when the hamstrings are tight, there's a lot of weight in the shoulders and up through the upper back and the neck and the throat. So the posture, kind of looks something like this. So again, bend your knees, lift your sits bones up, and you'll get the length. And then in time, you can ground your heels and feel that energy. Okay, so next question. What about the arms and the hands? So when the hands are grounded into the mat, there's this almost magnetic pull between the forearms. So you're pressing down with your thumb and your first finger. And then there's this external rotation of the upper arm. So the outer armpits are rolling towards your legs. So let's try this again. So press your palms into the mat and then lift your sits bones up. So as I was saying, you're pressing down with your pointer finger and reaching your thumb towards each other and then you'll start to feel this pulling together of your forearms and then feel the external rotation of the upper arm rotating the outer armpits towards your legs and what this does is broaden the back let your head hang so the back of the neck can be long again roll your inner thighs back lift your sits bones up pull your navel in and then in time, your heels will come down to the floor. Stay here for an inhale and an exhale and release. So it's always a puzzle with yoga and you're putting together all the pieces so it works and fits with your body. So thanks for joining me with Downward Facing Dog today. Namaste.